Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we uh, we develop our first recording, and and also we have added a couple of custom steps. Like these two are custom steps that we added. But while adding these custom steps, what we did, we use Selenium's default properties or Selenium's default features, so that we right click and then we add this. Uh, wait for title and verify text present. Okay, so but what is more important is that sometimes you can't really use default. Uh, features to write your step what you need you need three things you need command or you need what you want to do okay so this is otherwise known as what you want to do and then you need a target okay so target means where you want to do okay and then you need some value and this value is optional sometimes you need sometimes you do not need so for example I want to uh, take this uh, thing and something that I have a very simple form here and where I have uh, two inputs, input one, input two, and then a button. Okay. So what I want to do, my goal here is to write a comma, write a step in Selenium. Okay. So that I can type something here. Okay. So basically, what command I will do, what command, what target, or what value I will do, so that if I run this thing, then it will insert 98 in this field. Okay, so how do I do that? So let's first see what kind of command that I need to do. So basically this is something like keyboard typing, right? So therefore the command will be type. Okay, so let's so the command will be type. And then second thing second thing is target, right? So where I want to I want to put it this in this field, right? So how do I identify or how do Selenium selenium identify what is this thing? And there are six different techniques. Okay, so there are six different techniques by which Selenium can identify an element in the web page. Okay, and those techniques are number one by ID, number two by name, number three by link, number four by XPath, number five by CSS path, and number six by DOM, by document object model. So what we're going to discuss in this video and the next video, all these identification techniques and by end of this chapter you should be able to identify dot the, the target in a fairly complex website it's, okay so the first thing is that by id so just to look at by id so your html right so this is the html uh, rendered and the equivalent html for that is this okay and here this is the tag and this is another tag this is a tag so this is another tag but this tag is a little bit more interesting things here. So in this tag, we have something called attributes. Okay, so that means the tag is going to start with lesson sign, and then the tag name is X Y G, and then what we have, we have something called attribute, and then end. Okay, so these attributes comes up in two things like a key and a value. So in case of my form, the key is ID, the attribute name is ID attribute value is login form similarly if i look at this thing okay for this tag which is input i have 1 2 3 and 4 i have four attributes and the first attribute is id is equal to c1 therefore name is id the value is c1 for second attribute the name is name and the value is continue okay and so on so first thing is that if selenium finds a attribute called id then the target string would be id is equal to e1 or id is equal to whatever the id value okay so that means what i'm saying in this in this uh, thing that if i give id is equal to e1 then i should be able to locate this element okay so if i did type and I give the target is equal ID is equal to E1, not E1 colon, not E1 quotes, double quotes or whatever, just E1. Okay, and also it's a very nice tool here, like you know, just to see like you know, if this is really identifying or not, just click on find. So if you click on find, then you see a yellow splash. See, so, so some kind of yellow things coming up. So basically that means yeah, it is finding. If you say for whatever reason you give U18. Okay, and if you click on find, then it will give you an error that locator not found. So that means it's a very good way to check here in this IDE that if you are able to locate this thing properly or not. 
okay so that is by id and let's say you want to uh, so let's let's go back to that html for a minute so i want to look at say form i want to look at completely everything so how do i do that i will do something like this so if the form id is equal to login form okay so if i give here so if i give instead of id is equal to u1 i give id is equal to login form okay so that is what id right so if i do find it so looks like it's not finding so what is wrong so let's see the html so this is login then this is capital f okay so that is why it is it is not able to take so it should be it should be it's very case sensitive so you have you, you have to be exactly what is there so if i do login form look it is basically it, 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 it is able to recognize the complete form okay so i cannot type anything on the login form i have to i can type only on an element and that element is id is equal to u1 okay so if i do find then i'm able to find it then what i'm supposed to do i supposed to put a value 98 so let's put 98 and then if i run this thing now okay so it is going to put 98 here but i did this command myself okay two things i need to know what command i give but i need to give type okay then what is the target target is id is equal to u1 i'm i'm identifying the element by id because id is available then i put the value 98 okay so this is how you use by id it's identification technique to figure out to how to look at the element so another thing is that like if you look at this orbis.com this orbis.com the the html is not as simple as you saw here it's a very complex piece of html but my question is how do i know what is the tag for this thing so that is where a tool called firebug is going to help you okay so firebug is a firefox browser plugin so you go to this website called getfirebug.com download and install this firebug plugin once you install the firebug plugin you should see in the web developer something like like this firebug okay and also what you're going to see you're going to see, if you right click here you're going to see something called inspect element with firebug if you click on that it will going to open up the firebug console and it will take me directly to the html which is responsible in rendering that rendering this text box okay but look at here i don't i i like to see an id but id is not here okay so if id is not here then the second question is how do you how are you going to identify that is where our second technique or or that is where we need to learn the remaining techniques so that we will able to figure it out okay so that's what my intention here is the next couple of videos i'm going to going to tell you all the tricks that is required so that you will be able to find out in a in a complex application or a complex web page you need to find out what is how to determine the target thank you